China has successfully landed its first rover on Mars. The Tianwen-1 lander touched the planet's surface after surviving the treacherous descent by parachute. China's recent discovery of signs of water on Mars has shaken the world of science. Evidence that liquid water may have existed on the red planet just hundreds of thousands of years ago. The Zhurong rover's journey to the Martian plains of Utopia Planitia has revealed more than just sand and rock. It has uncovered traces of past moisture in a climate once far more active than anyone imagined. Tune in for what these findings suggest about life on Mars might just redefine our place in the universe. Signs of water in Utopia Planitia. China recently marked a major achievement in space exploration by becoming the first country to land and study Mars from afar. This landmark event happened when China's lander safely reached the Martian surface, surviving a tough landing with the help of parachutes. This breakthrough has sparked excitement across the global scientific community. But as scientists sift through the data and images sent back from the red planet, a startling discovery has come to light, one that could change everything we thought we knew about Mars. China's Mars mission has taken the scientific community by storm with its Zhurong rover unveiling secrets that challenge our understanding of the planet. Picture this, sweeping changes in the climate that occurred roughly 400,000 years ago, reshaping our perception of its past. The Zhurong rover's exploration of Utopia Planitia, a vast region, has yielded clues that could rewrite our understanding of the Martian climate and its potential for life. Each new discovery leads us deeper into the mystery of its history suggesting that the planet might have been habitable far more recently than previously thought. Could this mean life once thrived there? The research shared with scientists across the globe has sparked widespread curiosity. The evidence suggests it experienced climate shifts that may have made its surface capable of supporting water in its liquid state. As we piece together these findings, we're forced to ask ourselves, could it have supported life? What other secrets might be buried beneath its surface? China's cutting-edge technology, combined with the dedication of its scientific team, made this mission possible. The Zhurong rover navigated the challenging landscape of Utopia Planitia and used advanced instruments to analyze the Martian soil. What they found were signs of moisture, evidence that hinted at the presence of liquid brine. Imagine standing there, witnessing traces of something as vital as water in a place thought to be barren for millions of years. The implications of these findings are monumental. They not only reshape our knowledge of Mars, but also lay the foundation for future missions. These missions will explore the surface even further, helping us uncover its long-hidden secrets. Could we be one step closer to finding out if it once hosted life? Qin Shi Huang, a prominent geophysicist from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has been vocal about the discoveries. Shi Huang and his team have focused their efforts on Utopia Planitia, where they believe they've found hints of salty water on the surface. According to Shi Wang, this brine might form when frost or snow mixes with salty sands, lowering the freezing point and allowing water to remain liquid for longer periods. If this is true, it would mean that liquid water existed far more recently than we ever thought possible. But how did these dunes, carved by powerful winds, hold on to this moisture? The dunes are shaped like crescents, formed over hundreds of thousands of years. As scientists studied them, they noticed distinct ridges known as transverse Aeolian ridges. The presence of these formations hints at the powerful forces at play, shaping the landscape over time. Could these ridges reveal more about the hidden water beneath the sands? Further research showed that beneath the dune's surface lies bright material, layered beneath a darker top layer called a transitional reflective surface, or TRS. This material, likely formed in the last 400,000 years, suggests significant changes occurred during that time. It is believed that these dunes formed between 2 million and 400,000 years ago, during a period of intense climate fluctuations, a period that mirrors the dramatic ice ages experienced by our own planet. Speaking of ice ages, did you know that it has its own cycles similar to those on Earth? These cycles, called Milankovitch cycles, are driven by the gravitational forces from the Sun, Jupiter, and other planets, causing shifts in the tilt in orbit. On Earth, these cycles lead to ice ages, but here they have their own twist. Could these cycles be the key to unlocking more of its mysteries? During these ice ages, the poles would warm up, sending water vapor and dust to the mid-latitudes, 
where they formed thick ice deposits. Even today, remnants of this ice lie beneath the surface, particularly in regions below 60 degrees latitude. Imagine if these frozen reservoirs could provide the clues we've been searching for. Hints of a time when it could have supported liquid water and perhaps life. It is now in a geological period known as the Amazonian Epoch, which began billions of years ago. This period has been relatively stable with fewer meteorite impacts and slower climate changes compared to earlier times. Studying this epoch gives scientists a glimpse into how the climate has evolved over time with steady conditions allowing for a clearer picture of the history. What secrets might this epoch hold about the ability to sustain water or even life? The questions keep piling up if it once had the conditions to sustain water, how much of it was there? Was it enough for life to thrive, even in the harsh environment? And most importantly, could some of that water and perhaps life still exist beneath the surface today? The Jurong Rover's discoveries have opened the door to endless possibilities. They remind us that despite all we've learned, it still has countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. Each new piece of data takes us closer to a future where we can fully understand this intriguing planet could we one day walk there and find traces of an ancient civilization or evidence of microbial life still clinging to survival beneath the surface? As scientists around the world analyze these findings, it's becoming clear that it has more to offer than we ever thought possible. The possibility of liquid water, even salty, briny water, changes everything we know about the potential for life. The mysteries are far from solved but each discovery brings us closer to answers that could change the course of humanity's exploration of space. Imagine a future where humans set foot there, armed with the knowledge that water once flowed, that life could have existed, and perhaps still does. The discoveries from the Zhurong rover have brought us to the brink of understanding a world that seemed forever out of reach. The Red Planet's secrets are slowly unraveling, but much more remains hidden beneath its surface. As China's mission pushes forward, we are left with a sense of wonder and an ever-growing curiosity about what lies ahead. The journey has only just begun. Mars Hidden Oceans Mars has always been a planet of mystery, its red surface hiding secrets that humanity has yearned to uncover for generations. But now a stunning discovery by China has shaken the very core of the scientific community. Something incredible is lurking beneath its surface, and it might just change everything we know about the Red Planet. What did China find that left scientists worldwide in awe? Recent findings paint a very different picture of its history than what we previously believed. Scientists examining the terrain of Utopia Planitia have found ridges and cracks that seem to tell a story of melting snow or frost. They suggest that liquid water may have existed as recently as one and a half million to 400,000 years ago. Imagine that, Around the same time early human ancestors were evolving on Earth, it might have been hiding water beneath its surface. Could this mean it has been more alive than we ever thought possible? This discovery has prompted an important question. If liquid water existed that recently, could it still have environments where life thrives today? Its underground areas, protected from the deadly radiation and freezing cold above, might still harbor conditions favorable for life. On Earth, life has a way of surviving in the harshest environments, from the depths of icy oceans to boiling geothermal springs. The unusual patterns and erosion on its dunes are more than just geological features. They tell a tale of climate cycles that have shaped the planet. Its unique tilt, its orbit, and even gravitational influences from neighboring planets have all played a role in sculpting this harsh landscape. Each crack and crevice speaks of climate changes that may have allowed liquid water to remain, at least for a while. As our knowledge grows, the planet starts to look less like a desolate rock and more like a world that's held onto traces of its past, a past that may have included water and maybe even life. With this new understanding, future missions become even more thrilling. Imagine standing on it, not just searching for signs of ancient rivers, but exploring areas where water may have flowed recently. The Chinese rover, Zhurong, has been crucial in this quest, adding yet another layer to the unfolding mystery. One of the most mind-boggling revelations Zhurong has offered is evidence that liquid water might have existed just 400,000 years ago. This contradicts long-held beliefs that it lost its water billions of years ago, leaving behind nothing but dry riverbeds and dusty valleys. If it had liquid water that recently, what else could it be hiding beneath its red soil? 
The implications of finding such recent water are staggering. Water is synonymous with life. And here on Earth, wherever we find water, we find something living. If it could hold water much more recently than we thought, does that mean its climate wasn't as hostile as it appears today? We already know it once had rivers and lakes and possibly even oceans. The planet may have experienced a period of climate that was far more suitable for life than we previously imagined. The story is rapidly changing and we're only just beginning to understand the true extent of its mysteries. Could this recent evidence of water mean that life, even simple microbial life, once called it home? Could it mean that it still does? These questions are now at the forefront of our exploration, pushing humanity into a new era of space exploration. Jurong's findings have brought us to the edge of something monumental. It was thought to be an empty, frozen desert, but now we know that, not so long ago, it had the conditions for liquid water. This revelation suggests it may have been more than just a dead rock. It might have been a world teeming with possibilities. The Chinese rover's journey isn't just about the kilometers traveled. It's about the story it is telling us. One crack, one ridge, one grain of sand at a time. And every new chapter we uncover makes its history feel a little less alien and a little more familiar. It has always seemed distant and desolate, but these recent discoveries suggest it's anything but lifeless. With every new detail, the picture grows more complex, more vibrant, and more mysterious. Could it be that we are on the verge of discovering that, in some hidden way, it is still alive? Zhurong's findings have shaken our understanding to its very core. They remind us that space exploration isn't just about technology or travel. It's about the search for answers to the deepest questions humanity has ever asked. Are we alone? Or is it with its ridges and valleys, dunes and cracks, the first clue that life might be a universal phenomenon? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, Mars isn't done surprising us. And as we continue to explore its surface and study its secrets, we're bound to find answers that we never even thought to question. What's next for Mars? And what will we find when we dig just a little deeper into the mysteries of this enigmatic planet? Awakening Zhurong. The mysterious discoveries made by China's Zhurong rover have left scientists around the world both excited and puzzled. Mars has always been a source of intrigue, but what Zhurong has found adds a whole new layer to its mysteries. Recent findings suggest that the planet may have retained water until just a few hundred thousand years ago. If that's true, what does it mean for the planet today? Could it still hold water beneath its surface, or even signs of life? The idea that water might have persisted on the planet for far longer than previously thought has shaken up the scientific community. Zhurong's findings hint at possible mechanisms that allowed water to exist, perhaps underground aquifers or seasonal thawing linked to the planet's climate cycles. Much like Earth, it has a unique tilt and orbital pattern that causes its climate to shift. Imagine it having its own ice ages, with warm periods in between that allowed water to melt from underground ice and flow, even if only for a short time. These brief warm moments could have helped it keep liquid water for much longer than anyone previously believed. Could this mean that there might still be underground reservoirs today? The answer is far from certain, but the possibility is thrilling. Liquid water, especially if it's hiding in underground reservoirs or salty brine patches, could offer a place where life might still exist. On Earth, we've found microorganisms living in extreme places, hot springs, deep caves, and places without sunlight feeding on minerals. If similar environments exist there, perhaps some form of life has found a way to survive too. Could it harbor hidden life in underground pockets shielded from the harsh surface? Every new discovery raises more questions. Zhurong's findings highlight how crucial continued exploration is. Each rover, each mission builds upon the discoveries of the ones that came before. China's Zhurong rover has added a new piece to the puzzle, one that scientists are still trying to figure out. As the data continues to be analyzed, it's becoming clear that it may not be as dry and unchanging as we once thought. Could it have been a dynamic planet with a climate that shifted enough to allow water to flow at times? This discovery doesn't just change how we see the planet. It also has implications for the broader search for life beyond Earth. It has always been at the center of that search, but it's not the only place where life might exist. If it, with its barren landscape, managed to hold onto liquid water until relatively recently, what about other planets or moons that we've dismissed as lifeless? 
Places like Mercury with its scorching surface or the frozen moons of Jupiter and Saturn, Europa and Enceladus might have had brief windows of habitability as well. The Jurong rover's discovery is a reminder that the story of life in our solar system is still unfolding. It is proving to be far more intriguing than we ever imagined. If water was present so recently, the chances of finding life, even if only in a microbial form, might be greater than we dared hope. The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the greatest questions humanity has ever asked. Could we finally be on the verge of answering it? Think about it. A world once thought to be dead now shows signs of a more complex history. Each new mission sharpens our view of what it was like and what it might still be hiding. The possibility that it might have held onto water until just a few hundred thousand years ago is not only a game changer for scientists, but also a source of hope for all of us. What if it isn't the barren wasteland we thought it was? But what about the Zhurong rover itself? This mission has been a key part of China's ambitious space exploration plans. The rover landed in a region called Utopia Planitia in May 2021. It was designed to withstand the harsh conditions, but after going into hibernation during the Martian winter, Zhurong hasn't woken up yet. The hope was that it would spring back to life when the Northern Hemisphere warmed up in December. But so far, there's been no response. What could be holding Zhurong back? Could the increased sunlight of the coming Martian spring help it restart? Imagine waiting for a machine millions of miles away, hoping for it to wake up. Zhurong's solar panels might be covered in dust, making it hard to get enough power. Unlike other rovers, it doesn't have a special heater to protect it from the freezing nights. Instead, it uses a unique heat storing chemical system to keep its parts from freezing. It's designed to automatically wake up if it reaches the right temperature and enough power can be generated. Will it manage to reactivate? Even if Zhurong never wakes up again, its mission has already contributed valuable information. The rover's clever design and ability to explore the Martian surface for as long as it did are impressive accomplishments. China's commitment to space exploration, even in the face of setbacks, is evident. Each challenge faced by Zhurong is a learning opportunity for future missions, not just for China, but for all of humanity. After all, exploring Mars is not just about reaching another planet, it's about understanding the universe and our place within it. As we push boundaries on Mars, are we prepared for what we might find? Will exploration change humanity or reveal something we're not ready for? Comment, like, and subscribe for more insights.